So today's video is all about the spine. Um, and a lot of people think of the spine as the bony bits, which I guess to some extent is true. So I'll, I'll start with the bony bits. So this is the view of the front of the spine. So this is what you would see if you could kind of x-ray vision and could see all the way through people's rib cage and abdomen and things. And this is the inside bit with all of the vertebra. And you can see here the discs between each vertebra and these little processes sticking off the side, which as we'll come on to see are mainly used for, as attachments for the muscles. Now this sacrum that you'll have heard me talking about in previous videos is the where the, the spine meets the pelvis in this joint either side at the bottom here and this bit at the top is the little bit where the head balances on top of the neck. Um, this is the rear view so this is the bit you can actually sort of feel from your back so these bits that stick out of the back of the vertebra are the knobbly bits down your spine that you can kind of feel through your skin. Um, so it's not the, the vertebra themselves that you can feel, it's these knobbly bits that stick off the back and I think you can see them sticking out a little bit easier here from the side on view. Um, and again, these little bits that stick out the side are attachment points for ligaments and muscles to control the movement of the back. And this is the side arm view, which I quite like because it shows you that our backs have these natural curves in them. So we start at the lower back and the same way is inward curve for our lower back. So this is called the lumbar section of the spine. Then you've got the outward curve around predominantly where the rib cage is. Um, called the thoracic vertebra and then you have a slight straightening and maybe slight inward curve again for the cervical vertebra which are the ones in the neck. Uh, so that's the bony bit and then we go on to talk about the muscles. So each of these little um, bony bits are, as I said, attachment points for the muscles and you've got loads of them. <laughs> these are sort of layers. This is not just um, one piece. So, the, so these sit at the bottom, then those over the top, then those over the top and then these over the top all the way down our uh, spine. So it's like some sort of super complicated knitting pattern, literally um, controlling and, and attaching each uh, vertebra and little uh, bony bit to the next one. So this in enables us to, to bend from side to side, to bend forwards and backwards and to rotate. Um, so each vertebra has a degree of forward, backward, left and right bend and rotational movement with the, its um, neighbours above and below. And it's when they all start moving together that they enable the whole spine to, to move like it does. And these little muscles control them. My next video, I'll talk about the much bigger muscles that are involved uh, down our, our, our backs on a sort of wider context. Um, and then this is just a very, very quick view um, of some of the ligaments and some of the other structures. So as we often see, um, we've got ligaments attaching in between each uh, vertebra. We've got a sheath of ligaments around all of the vertebral column. We've got the, uh, the discs in here and all the various uh, bits that they uh, can contain. We've got the spinal nerve that runs down this column that's protected by all of these um, sticky outy bony bits on the outside of those vertebrae. Um, so there's a lot going on. There's a lot going on in the spine and we've not really looked at any of the prime moving muscles yet. Um, so look out for my next video on that. But a little whistle stop store about how amazing and wonderful our spine is. I hope that's useful. Happy running.